Can you make a fortune in a role game? Do you have a chance to be the host? I will help you to find out your odds mathematically in this video. Please smash the like button to help with the YouTube algorithm. So a couple of years ago, some of my friends or PhD students told me that they went to a casino. They are making thousand dollars a day. I was surprised at the time. I never, uh, I was never a gambler and never really look at the game, the casino before. And 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 because of that, I got a chance to know、uh, role again.、Uh, my friends eventually they lost. That's the nature of how the game was designed, which I will be presenting、uh, some of the basic findings, the mathematical results of a role game. So let's let's get started. So as you see, this is a role played.、Uh, there's a couple of ways you can play.、So、let's first start from the simple way. So the straight the straight up is that you put a number on one of those. Numbers you play you you put a、uh, your 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 chip on one of those numbers and your odds are thirty five to one. So what are the、uh, expectations? What are the risks you are here? So what what is the average you you gain in the every play? For that for that simple strategy, your expected re return for each dollar is actually zero point zero two minus zero point zero two seven something. So that means as you If you play, continuous playing, on average, you'll be losing in in each play. You you'll be losing two cents, two point seven cents. And and what are the risk of of using this simple strategy? So the variance of this this simple strategy is around thirty four. So that's the simple strategy of betting、uh, the straight up. So the second. Simple strategy is split. So the split is you are betting on two adjacent numbers. So here, this is one split. For example, you're betting on two, you know,、uh, eight and nine. So what are the odds? What are the average returns if you if you play with a split strategy? So here, this is this is my findings. So the average return if you continue playing the same is is the same. This is interesting, right? So The odds, the number of odds, the number of cash you can you can gain if you win, is the same in these two strategies. So you will be losing also two point seven point two point seven cents on 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 average for each play. And the risk and the risk is actually becoming less less. What 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 the risk I'm talking about? So variance about. You can think about the variance of of a strategy as how how risky you are. Let's say you have hundred dollars. How how fast how 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 risky you are you could, that you you go broke faster than other strategy.、Uh, it's also a risk that you can win pretty high,、uh, like the first simple strategy because of the the payout is pretty high. So you have a pretty large variance here. And 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 the, and the split strategy is seventeen. You have a much less,、uh, you have a much less risk, but、um, you are actually you are betting two numbers together. So that's second、uh, simple strategy. There are other strategies.、Uh, I won't go through、uh, all of them. So the street strategy, corner strategy, basket strategy, line strategy. Basically, you have chance of betting. Red or black, you you have chance of betting the the first twelve number, the second twelve numbers, and so on. Or you can betting on columns. So those are the simple strategies. And my I found that the average return of each simple strategy is always the number two point seven cents. That means it's. If you continue playing, if if you're a gambler, you're addicted to to roller games. You eventually be broke for sure. So the casino, they they design a game that makes you have an illusion that you have a chance. You have you you can design a strategy that you eventually be the hot be the hot, which is why you want to think rationally. You want to think the numbers behind. So、um, <clears throat> those are all 
uh, simple strategies. But some people will think, okay, I, simple strategies def, definitely doesn't work. What about complex strategies? I, I want to put many, let's say, corner plays. I want to put a corner play here. I want to put a corner play here. I want to put more. Are, are those giving me a, a higher chance of beating the horse? The answer is no. Think of each chip you put on, on the table as a random variable. The reason is that all those chips, you can think of them, uh, they are all independent. You can think of them, each chip belongs to every a, a, a different player. So this chip belongs to one player, player one, this chip belongs to player two, and this chip belongs to player, player three. The player one, whether he wins or not, does now does not give you any any advantage or disadvantage of what you gain on your chip. So this is in 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 probability is called independence of random variables. So if you put more chips on those whatever complex whatever complex strategy using simple strategy, it's a, it's just a simple sum of different random variables, and the expectation will just be the sum of each expectation. And because they are independent, the variance of those in those sum is actually the sum of those variance. The more you put on the table, the more risky you are. The more average loss you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna lose. So don't. So that's why the complex strategy doesn't work. I found one very interesting uh, strategy. If you look at the column, the column three. So this is one column one, column two, column three. So the column three. If you look at this column three, you will notice that there's there are more red numbers than black numbers. There are actually eight red numbers, and same for column two. So if the column two, you have eight black numbers. So let's say I want to cover more red uh, using less money. So I, so one way I can do is I put my chip one dollar chip on on column three that covers eight red numbers because i cover more eight red numbers on column three actually that means that there's much less black column black numbers on column three and because i want to put more i want to cover i want to cover more numbers i probably i i can put another bet on 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 the black numbers so cover all the black numbers so that will be covering a lot of numbers with just two chips what are the odds uh, if i if, if i play in like that let's look at the method mathematical results so this is a strategy if x on column three uh, and, and, and it's red the the probability is of winning is actually one over 35 if x lands on x is the is is the result of, of that random experiment if x lands on column three and black number i'm actually getting three dollars and and the, and the probability is four over 30, 37. same for x is it lands on non non column three but black then i'm actually getting nothing uh i won one con uh i i didn't want the other one so it's cancelled out uh, so that would be a chance of 40, 14 uh, over 37. And the expected value of that is actually uh, 0.054, which is a double of the simple strategy. It's a double of each simple strategy. That makes sense. So it's actually put in two random variables here. So, so that's why the expected value here is actually the sum of the each expected value of the each, each, each chip. That's why it's, it's just doubled. You're losing faster, actually. So that's the negative now. So it's, 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 you're losing faster. What about the variance? The variance is much smaller. Yeah, so there's no way you can win. In most cases, you, you will definitely lose if you continue playing. So you continue playing, you, you'll be broke for sure. There's no need to calculate other complex strategies. As any, any complex strategy can be regarded as an additive effect of simple strategies therefore expected return of each play is actually sum of those simple strategies so that's that's why you, you can't you can't win 
how did my friends win thousand dollars a day in the first couple of days at casino? Well, before we talk about their strategy, we're gonna need to talk about some of the more advanced probability theories in stochastic process. We're gonna talk about Markov process. We're gonna talk about random walks. We're gonna talk about Brownian motions, and then we'll come back to this topic and talk about their strategies and how could they do that. So please subscribe to my channel. I will post those videos in the future. Thank you.